Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. We have some announcements this morning. Our first announcements will come from Yesenia. Good morning, church. Happy Sabbath. Hi. So, you guys, did you guys see our, um, our signs outside for the BBS? So, that makes us super official now. Um, there's two ways to register. You can register online. The link is right there, or it's also in your bulletin. If you have any trouble with that, see me or Chris. We can definitely help you with that. And um, another way to register is you guys can just come um, and register your kids there. It's going to be um, July 16th to July 20th, and we're starting from 6 to 8.30 p.m. So bring your kids, bring your grandkids, bring your neighbor's kids, bring your nieces, bring your nephews, bring any kids. It's going to be really fun. And it's just a fun and great opportunity for them to learn about how Jesus rescues us. Um, we're also still looking for different um, things for the shipwreck. We're looking for like old rugs, lanterns, um, books, anything that you'll see like, you know, just lost at an island. So I hope to see you guys there. And then our next announcement is for the Pathfinders. So the Fast Pathfinders Club, um, they want to go to, well, we want to go to um, the International um, Camporee, which is going to be in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, in about a year and a couple of months from now. And as you guys know, God blessed our Pathfinder Club and tripled it, and we're hoping for even more kids by next time. So more kids means we need more money. So <laughs> we'll be doing a series of fundraisers and the first one is actually a week from now. It's June 30th. It's going to be in a fellowship hall, and we're doing a movie night. So we're going to be starting after sunset, so around 8.30. And the movie is free, and it's appropriate for all ages. It's a cute little movie. And we're going to have different snacks and foods and drinks to, um, to purchase. So I hope to see you guys there. Once again, fellowship hall next Saturday, 8.30. Thank you. Thanks, Yusenia. Our next uh, announcement is from Kathy. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Morning. <laughs> Just to remind you about the baby shower tomorrow at 1030. You're not going to want to miss it, especially those that signed up and those that didn't, please, you know, come. But it's going to be unique. Um, Trisha's done a great job in her theme. Um, food's provided. Just come and enjoy yourself tomorrow at 1030. Thanks. 1030. 1030. 10.30 tomorrow, a baby shower uh, for Trish. I'm looking for her. Oh, there she is. Would you stand up so everyone can see you and the twins that are in you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Double blessings there. And uh, you don't have to be a lady to come out for the uh, baby shower. So it's always a fun time. Could I yet ask everyone to please stand with me for a reading of God's Word? Our scripture reading this morning will come from the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, starting at verse 21. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those whose, who hope, whose hope is in him, the ones who seek him. Let us pray. Oh Lord, this morning we reaffirm that our hope is in you. There is no other that we can come to who listens, hears, and answers prayers. You are the only true and living God, the creator of everything that is. And it's our privilege to be here at this appointed time to come to worship. Father, we're so thankful for every blessing in our lives, 
And the fact that we're here today at this moment is no accident. It's a sign that you have called us and that you uh, care for each and every one of us. So we offer up our hearts, our thanks, our worship, and we ask you to receive them, Lord, and pray that you'll be pleased with us today. Father, your ways are above ours, so we ask for your Holy Spirit to uh, prepare our hearts and minds for everything that you would uh, teach us here today. And we ask, Lord, that uh, you be pleased with our worship, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Before you sit down, please greet somebody near you and share the love of Jesus. standing. Remain standing and sing with us, folks. Remain standing and come and sing with us. morning. Today's tithe and offering will be for the local conference. What is a storehouse? There's a tendency on the part of, on the part of some presumed to decide for themselves what should be considered God's storehouse for the returning tithes. Is that better? There we go. <laughs> but what does the Bible say? Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. In that in the days of Jesus, there was a particular, particular part of the temple that was dedicated, dedicated to the storehouse or treasury, so it, uh, and so it is into our churches today. This means that our tithes should be rendered to the local church treasury, which, in, which, turn, which in turn sends it on to the higher organizations. This is a system which, many, which for many years the, organi the Adventist church has a lot followed. The, and which has been the envy of many other Christians who struggle to pay their pastors. There are many other fine causes out there, most of them as well deserving a part of our support, but it is not the best plan to divert our tithe away from God's official storehouse. Even if we 
have some concerns about what our church conducts business, the way our church conducts business, we should not hold back God's tithe. At a time when corruption was rife in the church of Jesus' day, Jesus, Jesus did not counsel the widow to hold back her might or send it to another place. On the contrary, he praised her for her faithfulness, even in the face of poverty. Today, we have another opportunity to prove the Lord's promise that he will pour out for you such a blessing. Will the deacons please stand for prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we can come and pray to you and meet in this wonderful place. We pray that we will give what you've desired for us to give back to you and, and that it will go to the right places. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, children, it's that time for the children's story, and our children's story this morning will be brought to us by Brother Smith. Children, on my mark. Don't, eh, don't move yet. <laughs> okay, come on.
think you got it all. All right. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Smith. I can tell you a story today. Do you guys have a bucket list? Do you know what a bucket list is? A bucket list is a list of things that you'd like to do before you kick your bucket. Just so you know. Now you know. So this is usually like things you like to do for, so for you guys it may like to be, oh, go to Disneyland or go around the world on a sailboat. That one's mine. Um, well, it can be anything that you want to do in your life. Well, my wife has always had a list on her bucket list, and that was to see a bear in the wild. Now, because of this, one of the reasons that we went to Alaska was to see a bear in the wild. So we got, to, we landed in Anchorage, we hopped, we rented a motorhome, and we drove up to Denali. We didn't see any bears all that day. The next day at Denali, we got a bus, and we went way up into the mountains, up to the base of Mount Denali, and we came back, and the buses in front of us saw bears. The buses behind us saw bears, but we saw no bears. Now, my wife is really disappointed because when I was in high school, my family went up to there, and in one day, we saw 13 bears. So we were at 13, my wife was at zero. She's feeling a little disappointed this time at night. So that night when we're sitting around the campfire, she says, let's leave hot dogs outside so the bears will come. I told her this was not a good idea. We don't want bears in our camp. Bears are good at a distance in the wild. They're not good in your camp. So we didn't put hot dogs out. And I said, you know what, honey? Let's pray. I know you want to see a bear. God can help us find a bear. And so we were sitting around the campfire, and we realized that we'd forgot something, and we needed to run to the store. I think it was bug spray, because we were being eaten alive by mosquitoes. In Alaska, the mosquitoes are about that big, just so you know. They take little babies. They're just terrible. And so we, ran into, we were driving into town, and we came around the corner, and there was a bear off in the distance. Now, this bear was limping, but he was a bear. Now, if you ask my wife to this day, she will tell you there are no bears in Alaska because a limping bear doesn't count, and so there are no bears in Alaska. But God did answer the prayer. We did see a bear, so, but my wife still holds that there are none in Alaska. You can ask her. So the, remember, no matter what your problem is, no matter if it's big, like you need a new job, or you need to, you need to get well, or if it's something as simple as seeing a bear on your vacation, doesn't matter what it is, God will answer your prayer. All right, does somebody want to have a closing prayer for me? You? Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Bless my mom, bless my dad, protect I praise you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, walk. Walk back to your parents. Yeah, Brad. One thing on my bucket list is to go to the Krispy Kreme that they're they're building on 41. You know, it's just one little thing, but that's good. We're here to praise the Lord. Whether you sit stand, sing, or don't sing, we're here for a purpose, to praise the Lord. Amen? Those of you who are able, stand with us. Thank you. Stand with us and sing. this king because he gave his everything because he gave his everything
everything He came to live Live again in us He came to be Our conquering King and friend He came to live And show the lost ones His love He came to bring Prepare a place for us That's why we praise Him That's why we sing that's why we offer Him our everything. That's why we bow down and worship this King. Because He gave His everything. Because He gave His everything. That's why we sing, that's why we offer Him our everything, that's why we bow down and worship this King, because He gave His everything, because He gave His everything, because He gave His Amen. This next song means a lot to me. God will make a way. You know, when you've had troubles at work, marital problems, financial, God will make a way. Trust him. When the time gets more of a struggle, that's when you need to cling to him and go to him. Don't turn your back on him. He's looking for you. Sing this song with us. God will make a way. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be and as we sing this song, please come we'll forward for the family altar. To his son, with love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. You know, we sent some kids off to camp, Amen. and uh, my grandson's getting baptized today. Huh? What do you think of that? Praise oh. the Lord. <laughs> well, I just want to thank you all because you all helped. Your prayers are very important. You know, nothing happens without prayer. You think your muscle and your beauty and your money and all that, I know it doesn't work. I've had all of those things. Prayer. <laughs> let's, uh, let's kneel down. Ask the Lord to bless us. <sighs> Father in heaven, you are magnificent. You are wonderful. You're awesome. Even terrible as the lion is terrible but powerful. And we just trust in you right now. We want your love in us. Unconditional love. 
so that we might be able to show our brothers and sisters about us how great you are. You need to change our hearts, Lord. So we ask, Lord, that you change our hearts. Make us into your likeness. You said we are made in your image. And we want to be like you. So lead us and guide us, direct us the way that we should go. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our trials. But without the trials, we wouldn't know that we needed you. Work, money, relationships, sickness. We think of Ashley and Jeff. Think of all the others who are sick and pain, sorrow. But let us look for good things, whatever is pure and holy and kind and good. Let us think on the excellencies rather than the defects of each other's character. And let us encourage each other in fighting the battles of life here in this church. And as the Bible studies come in, may we be ready. The harvest is ripe, Lord. Prepare our hearts. Subdue us. And give us that gift, Lord. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to Side with love and strength for each new.